Hey everyone, uh, this is not one of my normal chemistry demonstrations or synthesis videos. Uh, in this video I am talking about an application of chemistry uh, for a project me and my friend are working on. Um, you can see this box here, I'll talk about more about it in a minute. But what we're doing is we're doing photography of uh, really high speed um, explosions. So we're taking glass cups, mugs, and plates and um, taping high explosives to them, remotely detonating them, and then photographing the moment the glass starts to break. Um, I want to say that I do not recommend anyone repeat this who is not uh, specifically trained in handling high explosives. It is very dangerous. I will not be showing the synthesis of any explosives in this video. Uh, I'm just talking about how this project works. So here you see a camera, a flash um, behind a plexi shield in the box, and uh, we have a black spray painted section. And what happens is uh, the explosive is hooked up to um, an igniter, just one of those model rocket igniters. You can see the two clips right there. And um, we open the shutter of the camera, and then we have a microphone over here that is triggered um, when the explosion happens. And that shoots a flash, and then we capture the moment. Uh, we're experimenting with delays right now, but about 8 milliseconds after the explosion happens. And uh, all this stuff is controlled by a little computer back there with the wires running into the box. So in a bit I will show how I am attaching the silver acetylide, which is my explosive of choice, to the bottom of these pieces of glass and uh, showing this box in action. Okay, here's the glass cup to be destroyed. And here I have some freshly dried silver acetylide. Uh, it was stored under acetone to keep it from you know, being sensitive. Uh, so I just dry the amount that I want to use right before use. I will pour it off this towel. Okay, it's a bit windy. Now, I get one of the Estes rocket igniters. Stick that on there. And then just tape the explosive onto the cup. We're experimenting with tapes right now as well. This is aluminum tape. And um, we've been trying some duct tape, but it's just blown right through the duct tape. So we'll add some duct tape as well. Fire in the hole in three, two, one. Go. All right, looks like we got a few really good pictures. So I'm gonna do a slideshow of a few pictures of our apparatus and then of the pictures that we took.